Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, oh, good job saying hi. And Mia's here with her baby. She got her baby with her. And of course, here's Tarney. And we have someone in the background here, and we'll get to her in a minute. But for right now, uh, we wanted to do a blast from the past with Reborns. Um, I was pretty excited when I came upon this. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know that I have, I'm a doll collector. I've been a doll collector for many, many years. And I have a big, wide variety of dolls. And... I was going through, oh, her hair's all crazy, Mia. And I went through my bottom shelf of um, my dolls, which is hard to get to. But I managed to go in there. And I found this um, one baby in there. It's and not, I was very um, pleasantly surprised. So I ended up doing a little research on her. And... I was, I really was pleasantly surprised. I'll leave it as that for now. But I got, um, of course, my obsession with pacifiers. And this is a late uh, Mother's Day present. And I got, um, there's a little crack. That, that's just a crack in the, in this from shipping. Mama. But the pacifier is fine. What, Mia? I want to feed this baby, too. Okay, we're not going to feed the babies right now. No, I'm the This baby. is um, an Advent, and I can't find it around here. It's an Advent mini. And see how cute it is? Uh, I guess I could take it out. Yeah, I'll just take it out so you guys can see it. It's, like, smaller. I, I haven't seen it around here. So I got that and has the, let's see the nipple on it. Look at, I can't see my eyes. Um, not really that much smaller or anything. Um, it still looks pretty, oops, pretty long. But this part is much smaller. Um, so I got that. Stay right there, Mia, okay? I got that one, and the next one that I got is a pink, um, I like that pink. So I know, it's your favorite color, a pink uh, Suavinex, and I think this and will like fit, pink. hopefully, on the babies, uh, like my silicone's a little bit better. So that's, that's the little, see, Suavinex, and I just love it, love the color of it. So I just wanted to show those. And now, to get back to my story, I um, found this baby. And I'm going to bring the camera over. And some people that have been in Reborns for a good number of years from the beginning will, will probably know who she is. I never even knew it. I think I got her at one time in a trade. And um, never even knew that she was one of the um, beginning Reborns. I've had her for a little over 10 years. Um, I just never knew that she was. And I just wanted to do a comparison with, um, if I can get both of them, I'd have to back up a little bit. I might take it off the tripod just to, so you guys could see the difference. But I think at one time... If my research is right, she's one of the um, she's one of the Barringer babies, and I think she was reborn um, a lot. I'll put her up so you can see. She does have uh, rooted hair, Ooh. and she has sleeping eyes. She does have a magnet in, and they didn't root her eyelashes, but they she's Mine's heavy. Too. Yes, yours is sleeping too. Um, they did. Uh, open her her nose just slightly and I, I think it's so funny is this doll I believe you could buy at say Walmart and um, this didn't come from like a sculptor it was manufactured and she only has her limbs are only go to there that's it and I'm gonna and she and I think she's filled she's very she's hard for number one she's very hard 
and I think she was filled like if I if I do squeeze her her um her limbs she I believe is filled with sand um and then polyfill uh pellets and then just a little bit of uh, and uh stuffing and so I just wanted to take her legs out so you could see her her body because it's pretty funny um it's like a like a bean bag um bo body she has see her arms and you can tell with the that I think it's just all that polyfill and yeah it is I can see some of the beads coming out it is polyfill and, and here's her one. you can show that in a little bit and here's her little foot and it only goes to there um, she doesn't even have a little knee or a thigh or anything um, just this little foot and I'm actually going to take uh, it off the tri uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that because I won't be able to see um, what I'm doing um, let's see I'll have to bring her up to the camera but I think it's so cool that I actually still have uh, one of the beginnings see her nails were were tipped um, not much uh, detail in the in the kit itself in the day I believe it was because I couldn't believe the uh, the detailing in her then um, I didn't know no no Mia and uh, I'll take her uh, her arm out. I don't know if it does anybody in their reborn collection did they ever hold on to any of these original reborns? I was just curious about that if they did. Um, I'm going to take her arm out, and it's the same thing. Her arm, no elbow, or nothing, just this, and and I'll show you her her hand see her nails are tipped let's see are tipped but it's really no because they're manufactured there's not really much detail in them and um you know it wasn't made by a sculptor or anything let's see uh, we'll button her up. She is a cutie pie. I can tell you that. She also has... I'll put her little socky back on. Oh, my barrels are, are... It's windy here today, and I can hear my barrels, my trash barrels, trying to roll away from me. Um, and then here's her little face, and she actually has underneath here, if you can see, molded hair still, and then it looks like they just rooted on top of, of her, you know, it looks like they did remove the paint from the head, and then they just rooted her, but I thought that was so cool that I still had um, one of these Behringer um, beginning uh, reborns when the art started you know emerging because she is she's um, she's a little over 10 years old and it's so funny because let's see if we go over to if we go over to Tarney her pacifiers I have now this is from obviously everybody knows this is the Michelle kit and it is very detailed. I mean, look at the comparison of the of the hang on. I mean, look at the feet. How it's just amazing. And then how she has the the leg, the calf, the knee, the thigh, just how reborns have come you know, a long way from the beginning of where it started. It's just amazing to me. And now, of course, they have the silicones and everything. But just to, like, compare um, is just amazing. Like, with her, you know, she, Tarney has her. I mean, this is an amazing sculpt. She has her little tongue. 
sticking out and even her, her lips everything is detailed on her um, she's just really it's amazing compared so I just wanted to put both of them side to side yes yeah, see oh Mia wants to show hers you're showing the details in yours mm -hmm. yes that's very nice thank you for showing us but I guess I'll put them together if I could possibly can do this in one. I'll put them I together. Can't see me. It's all right. I have to adjust the adjust this some. Oops. I'll put them together on here. And we'll take their passies out. But look oh she looks so huge compared to to Tarnie. So she, I mean, yes, look yes. at the difference in just Mama, like with the detail in yes. just with, with detailing of hands. It's, it's amazing where the Mama. art form has, has gone. And I actually am going to take her sock back off and hers too. I mean, look at that with the feet. Mama. I don't know if I can. It's just amazing. Mama the wrinkles that Tarney has and I mean I know at one time they thought that these were very uh, detailed like they were the best ones to reborn and you reborn a manufactured doll now you know there's actually artists that are sculpt sculpting them from scratch clay and um, it's just the art form has come a long way and I really respect that it's just it's amazing so when I found her sitting there on my bottom shelf, never even knew that it was a reborn, um, I was pretty excited to know that I have an old school reborn. And see, she's very hard and even um, uh, Tarani, look at just even the vinyl, how different the vinyl has come to nice and um, squishy and you know I mean she Mama. moves a little bit but not much and you can you wait a minute Mia you can tell even with uh, the the shading around here you know around the nose and in the eyes and like in between the fingers all that was done inside uh, the doll I believe I think they used to paint I believe if I took her limbs off I bet you in her inside her head she'd be all painted um, purple, I think, to get that translucent look. And also, too, she has no, there is no veining on her at all. I don't see any, well, maybe a little, like, really little, little bit over here. I don't think she has it, really. But I just thought I would show, and if anybody else is still... A doll collector and managed to hold on to their um, old old reborns you know your Behringers I would love to see them you know I just think it's cool and where the art form has gone so I just wanted to show you that real quick the between the two it's just amazing I mean absolutely so different um, for you know being realistic and and everything so I just wanted to show you the pacifiers and um, a reborn that is very, very older. And um, of course, Mia wanted to come in and show her baby and say hi. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And also, too, even the eyebrows are not look. I mean, her eyebrows so detailed and hers just look, um, you know, like a little bit of shading. And that's about it. Um, it's just amazing of where they've they've come you know how far they've come and in artists and in sculptors and everything so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video depending on where you are day or night i hope you're having a fantastic one Bye. and i will oh that's so nice mia and i'll talk to you later in the next video thanks for watching bye-bye Bye. -bye. Bye.